this is Dino. Welcome to my channel. I'm back um, with kind of like a repeat of what I had a few weeks ago, but I have made them look better. These are even better. So these are easier. So please keep watching. Um, recently I did, I guess it was about, I don't know, a week or two ago. I did these super cute candy cane, um, candy cane and different labels on here and I use vinyl on these rolling pins. Well, um, I decided I wanted to make some more. So after I had finished sharing this on my channel and I put the link below, I mean, they sold out pretty fast. So I wasn't able to buy the same kind, but I did find some that have red handles on them on Amazon. So it has saved a lot. Um, so I decided I was going to go ahead and I'm going to work on these. So yesterday, my husband and I, we were cleaning, we were cleaning the carpet and, um, well, my husband was cleaning the carpet. So I came in here waiting for everything to dry and everything. And, um, I started wrapping these. So I still have one more that I have wrapped right here. Um, so anyway, I think that this paper is so super, super cute. But anyway, I went ahead and wrapped them all. And then today when we got home, um, I went ahead and started decorating. Now, originally I was just gonna do something simple like this. Put a little bit of this beautiful um, greenery and see how the, it's got the glitter on it and everything. I was gonna do it like this. So then, um, the second one that I did, I added the greenery and I added a little chipboard piece. This is some hot cocoa. And then, so then the next one that I did, here's the next one. See the Santas, aren't they cute? Added a little Merry Christmas. So then the next one that I did, y'all, I went and I just added more ribbon, tied knots on it, and added a chipboard piece as a little tag, and it is precious. So as you see, I liked all these with the extra ribbon on them. I just think that they made, made it so much more festive. Here's another one that I did. Isn't it so cute? Look at the paper. And then, here is the, this one's got stockings on it. And here, this one, um, I didn't really have a chipboard piece to match this paper, so I added a little truck, because it was a like a button that I had. And so I just tied it with some twine and added it on as well. So I still have a few more of these come in the mail. I ordered two more packs, because I wanted to have um, have more of them. And um, so I thought I would jump on and do one of these on camera. So let me move these out of the way. I told my husband today, I want a new chair for Christmas. He goes, a new chair? And I'm like, yes, mine squeaks too bad. So anyway, I told him, Amazon, Amazon. <laughs> and so anyway, we'll see. Okay, so when I went to Hobby Lobby, when my husband and I, after we ate, we went to Hobby Lobby because he asked me, what do you want to do? And I said, oh, I said, do you want to go to Hobby Lobby? He said, okay. So we were just trying to walk and get in some steps and everything. So we moseyed around the whole store and that's when I found these. And I was going to buy, what did I do with my other one here? I was going to buy more pine type. And I was going to add something like this onto it as well to give that some green. But now that I, and then when I tried it, I'm like, hmm, I don't know if I like it. But y'all, I found this one over in the floral section. And it's Seed Berry Ribbon Garland. And you can buy this stuff like this over in the Christmas section right now. But the things always seem to fall off. But I found this one and it's a lot more easier to bend. Um, so I didn't, I didn't end up using this one because I kind of got stuck on the ribbon and I really liked it. So I'll save those for something else. So we're going to work on this one. Now I've had a little bit of issues getting the price tag or getting these little scan things off of this one, but you know what? It does not really matter because 
Um, we're going to cover it up anyway. All this is is craft paper. So, I think for this one, I only had one that was done in red and white. So, I'm going to do this one in red and white. It ends up looking kind of like a, like a candy cane. Okay, so... So my rolling pins, these are seven and a half inches. And the ones, the first ones I had, they were eight inches. But this is the only ones that I could find. Okay, let me turn you a little bit. These were the only ones I could find. The eight inches were sold out. So that's why I bought these. But these are still darling. I love them. And so for this one, for this width right here is three and three fourths. So I've got to cut my paper at three and three fourths. And that gave me just a tad, just a little bit of where I could see a little bit of the raw color on there, but not much. And for the for the length of it, I'm gonna do four and a quarter. And that was actually plenty. Okay, so let's get this out of the way. So kind of work your paper a little bit. And let me grab my tape. So what I did when I wrapped these, I'm using actually some more of this wood glue that I got from the wood connection, but you can use any glue that you want. The nice thing about this rolling pins, you don't have to have any letters or any, like, anything like that to put on them. You can just, uh, you can just add paper, decorative paper, and they turned out so beautiful. I'm still going to put the other ones in my craft fair as well. But I'm gonna add these two. I'm just gonna have an array of different ones. So I add pay I added tape on both of these. And yes, I know I'm using my grungy uh, my grungy mat there, but when I glue, I'm not using the good one. So a tape put up here. So now what you're gonna need to do, kind of work it a little bit. And I'm just going to take the, take the paper off my tape, my score tape, and I am going to add, now this one's real close to the edge, so let me see if I can peel a little bit of that off. I don't want that to show. Okay, let's we'll see if the rest of it, the rest of it don't want to, but it's okay, it's underneath. So, I'm going to add the piece of paper right over the edge. Now get this as straight as you can. There were some of them that I did not get straight and I had to pull it off. So just once you get it straight, just kind of roll it. Start giving it a shape. And look how it turned out like that. See how it's, it's so cool. So I'm just kind of pull it tight and roll it. So much easier than having to worry about a cricket or foam letters or whatever. And now I'm going to just take my glue. And I'm going to add glue right up underneath this edge. Okay. I'm going to go down the sides. Let's see if I can get you in a little closer here. We're going to go down the sides. The nice thing about this glue, you do have a little wiggle room. It does not dry as fast as like our glitter glue. And I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to peel off the paper. And then I'm going to take my paintbrush and I'm going to get this all smoothed in because if you don't, you're going to have it wheezing out everywhere and you don't want that to happen. Just kind of paint it on. And I put ample glue. As you see, I have put a lot of glue. 
just because you want it to stay on. You want it to be pretty permanent here. I'll put my, uh, put my paintbrush over here out of the way. So now start taking it and roll it. Keep it as straight as you can. And I'm gonna turn it so I can make sure it's rolling straight. Looks good. I'm going to just like that. When you get over here like this, any glue that's popping out, go ahead and wipe it off. And I'm just, I just kind of held it to give it pressure on that seam. It's going off a little bit, but that's not much and that's okay. So you can kind of roll it and get it pressed down really good. Just get that seam on there. Don't, don't let it go until you know it's adhered. And I'm gonna just press it down just like this. Cause I put a lot of glue. See, just keep pressing it down. You want that to adhere. see that okay so what I'm gonna do is just keep pressing what I thought of doing is I thought of taking some of this tiny rickrack I have and cover that seam and I think that that would be very super cute so Just making sure every all this paper is flat. Okay, so if all you all you need to do is take your rickrack and just kind of cover it. It kind of will seal it. And you would just cover it up. So take some of your glue. Cover that seam and just lay it over the top. Just kind of cover it up. You don't have to do it. I didn't do it on all the others, but I just thought that that would be a good way to cover your seam and it's decorative. Okay, so see how that is? With the way the paper is, it kind of makes your eyes go, <laughs> okay. Okay, so there we go. So we're gonna let this dry a sec and then we're gonna finish up our project. Okay, so it's pretty well dried up. So see how these little, the rolling pin things, there's a little bit of gap on these in between. I didn't like that to, for both of them to be sticking out like that. So on the one side, and I'm gonna go out just a little bit here. On this one side over here on the right side, and I don't know why I chose the right side, but that's just maybe because I'm right-handed, I don't know. Um, gotta get my glue in here. I just added some glue up in here, some hot glue. Just so I can have this sealed here. Make sure I don't have it. And I'm just gonna press that down. And yes, it's gonna have a gap over here, but that's where we're gonna add our ribbon. So I just press on and make sure it adheres. See how that looks? I love that. I think I'm gonna go back and do it on all of them. And also too, it kind of make kind of makes it like a stop. And it won't roll as much. Okay, so let me put the lid on my glue. Okay, so what I have here is I have some ribbons. And so um, I just... Let me get you out here, y'all. Sorry about that. 
Okay, so I have some different kind of ribbons in the colors that I want to use. And because this one is just red and white, I do want to add in some of the green. Um, what I'm doing is I'm using about, about 11 inches or so um, of each color that I choose. So I'm just going to kind of take it and kind of measure it off. I'm just kind of guesstimating, but I use about 11 inches. And so I want the green and... Um, I like using the thinner ribbon for this um, because the thinner ribbon is easier for me to work with. Like this one is a little bit thicker. So it was harder for me to tie my knot on it. And um, so I like that. This one is not as thick, so I can use this one. And whenever you're picking your ribbons, just remember, they don't all have to match. Just have them be in the colors that you want. They think you can put the polka dots with the with the stripes and it doesn't matter. It does not matter. I haven't opened this one yet, but I think that one's a little thicker, so I'm gonna stray away from that one. Okay, let me get this rolled up so I don't have it everywhere. I do love this one. I did get this one, of course, at Hobby Lobby, and it is a lot thinner. So I really like that one. This one for this project. So I'm going to use that. And I'm going to, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to add in um, some of the black as well. I really like this one because it's thin and it's sheer. So it ties nicely. So I'm going to add in that. And I think I'll add in one small piece of the red rip rip. So I'm just going to add that and look, that will probably be perfect. Okay. So all I did is I put my fattest ribbon on the bottom. So I'm just going to put my polka dots on the bottom and then my stripes. And then I'm going to add this black and white polka dotted one. And then I'm going to add this green. And I'm going to add this one right here. So then I'm going to grab them up and kind of find my middle. And I'm going to flip it over. And here is about my middle. And it's going to go right up inside here. So I have your rolling pin ready. I'm going to take my glue. Give myself some hot glue to kind of hold this one in place. I like to put my seam on the rolling pin on the bottom. So kind of get that, let that grab up in this edge here. Make sure you have all your, all your pieces here and just tie a really good knot. And when you get that, take this and you tie it Pull it as tight as you can. So what I did is some of them kind of end up loose a little bit. So grab each end of that same color and kind of pull them. So here's the polka dot. And I just kind of worked mine and pulled it. Just to get it as tight as I could get it. So then, and then like this, this one here, this black and white one, I'm just going to take it and kind of tie it on the top like a knot and that kind of anchors everything in place. And look at that, it looks almost like a firecracker right now. Then take it and just kind of trim everything off evenly. So this ends up being, they end up being about three inches in length on each side when I'm done. I think that that was actually a good length. If you want them a little longer, you can, but I'm going to go with this. Okay. I'm going to trim this one. So it ends up looking like this. Isn't this so cute, y'all? So, so, so cute. 
Okay, so this other one that I have here, let's go ahead and work on this one too. Actually, I'm not going to work on that one. I think, let me see if I have another one over here. Because this one, I don't like it as much because I didn't get my paper as straight as I would like it. But I think a good way for you to kind of cover this up is if you want to direct rack around the edge, if you didn't get your paper as straight as you would like it, do a rick rack around it just like this. And I might go back and do that on this one just so I don't waste it. And see how that is. So you could do a rick rack and do some red, whatever. Okay, I think we'll just continue on with this one. And um, this is the last ones that I have until my order comes. Okay, so what I did is I took, um, I have some like chipboard pieces. I have some like little buttons like this, which I don't want to use those on this. Well, let me show you the chipboard pieces I was using. So this one is from the Christmas Cheer, and actually the paper is the is Christmas Cheer by Cardabella. And I got it on scrapbook.com. So you can see I've kind of used quite a bit of these. Let me see how big this one's going to be. These particular ones, they are just chipboard. They do not have tape on the back, which I was glad for. So I think that I could actually, um, if I wanted to, I could add this one. I could kind of lay it over. But you're gonna need to put, um, you're gonna need to punch a hole on it, or you can hot glue this on just like this. Let me see about this other one. See, this one is cute too. Let me go ahead and punch out this other one. And then I have a handmade with love. I'm thinking that I like that one too. So I'm gonna make my decision. I think I'll like this one. Okay, I'm gonna do this one. Let's move these over. I like this one, but it's a little bit tall. So, so what I do is I like to add my twine like over on this side, or maybe like up here in the corner so it kind of hangs right there. So I'm using my crocodile. I'm using the one eight inch punch, and I'm just going to punch myself whole and then I'm going to use my twine I'm going to pop this through the hole and go to the other end and once I get it through the hole I'm going to tie a knot. Just like this. Got myself a knot tied. And then what I did is I took the tag and I layered, I laid it down where this, the crack is, where the ribbon went on inside. Once I have it where I want it, flip it over and I'm gonna tie, oop, there goes my scissors. Tie a knot and it goes right down in that, the edge of that rolling pin. And I just tied it three times just so I know it's secure. And trim it off. And you don't even need to glue it. Isn't it so cute? Just adding these on like this. So cute, y'all. I love these so, so much. I love the ones. I love these first ones I did. I still do. But these are so much easier. And it takes less time. So you literally take some beautiful cardstock that you have. Wrap the, wrap the rolling pin. You don't have to do Christmas. You can do any season. And um, and just wrap it. Add some beautiful ribbon around here. Tie it as tight as you can. And then 
add a tag and it's so cute and be such cute decoration um, for for a tray or anything and this one is as well but I really 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 love it with the paper it just gave them so much personality okay, so let's talk pricing on these I believe I put like five dollars on the ones that I painted um, not as much went into this a little bit of paint and the vinyl and one piece of ribbon this one you have paper you have the chipboard piece you have these and I think that I'm probably still gonna do these I think I'll probably do these for six dollars look how this dried up and it looks so nice I'm gonna go back and do all the rest of them this way add this rickrack across there to kind of make it give it a seam but I think what I'll do is I'll do, I'll do $6 at my craft fair for these. I think that they will sell. I think that they're darling, they're eye-catching, and yeah, I'm excited to see see everything, how I set everything up at the craft fair. I've still got a long way to go. I think that maybe tomorrow or Friday, I might go in my closet and pull out all my craft fair stuff and decide what I'm going to take for my craft fair this year and what I'm not going to take. That way it kind of tells me how much more items I need to make. Um, so anyway, thanks so much everyone for watching, sticking by me through this video. Hopefully it's not too long for you. Hopefully you made it to the end. And yeah, I hope that you've enjoyed this. Look how sweet these are. Oh my goodness. I absolutely love, love, love this one. So cute. Anyway, it's time for me to get out and do my walk. And I'm going to go in there and get my shoes on, get my walk done. And, um, yeah, that's it, y'all. Hope you guys have a great night, and I'll talk to you soon. Bye, y'all.